who the heck knows how useful these are going to be, but uh, technically this is the second one I'm recording, so I uh, probably should have assigned this first, whatever. Um, so again, extra credit, probably, differentiation on chain rule. I have two little girls next to me. If you hear some screaming, it's them, probably not me. Um, results are provided, but you're probably looking for some structure here. Okay, let's make this larger. And blue, like always. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for structure, and hopefully you can see that this first one is, well, something to the fifth power. The derivative of something to the fifth power is five times that same something to the power of four. R something is x cubed plus three, which has a rate of change of three x squared. So we're going to rewrite that and combine the 5 and the 3x squared, 15x squared, and then still x cubed plus 3 raised to the power 4. This should look awfully similar. Something to the third power has a derivative of 3 times that something squared, or something is negative 3x to the fifth plus 1, which has a rate of change of negative 15x to the fourth. Mom, 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 do you need any more water? Dude, go in the other room. I need water. So we are going to combine negative 45x to the fourth and negative 3x to the fifth plus 1 still squared. Let's see. If you're wondering why I'm switching notations, there's no great reason. The derivative of something cubed is 3 times that same something squared. And let's see, our something is negative 5x cubed minus 3, which has a rate of change of negative 15x squared. That feels familiar. And so, let's see, negative 45x squared and negative 5x cubed minus 3 still squared. Well, let's switch it up. The derivative of something to the fourth is four times that same something cubed. This something is 5x squared plus 3, which has a rate of change of 10x plus 0. And so y prime is 40x times 5x squared plus 3 I like that cubed. Too. Thanks, honey. All right. Um, hopefully you know that this uh, fourth root is a one-fourth exponent, so we'll write f prime of x is one-fourth of our stuff to the power one-fourth minus one, negative three-fourths, and that stuff is negative three x to the fourth minus two, which has a rate of change of negative twelve x cubed. So f prime of x is equal to, well, let's deal with the 1 fourth and the negative 12x cubed. That's going to give us negative 3x cubed in the numerator, the 4 divides out. And we know we're going to have a radical in the denominator. That radical is going to be cubed. It's going to be a fourth root and in the denominator because of the exponent. And that's a negative 3x to the fourth minus 2. Um, we could have also, instead of having the cube there, have the cube inside. Order does not matter. All right. Nothing written here. Hopefully you've memorized the derivative of the square root. 1 over 2 times that same square root of our input, negative 2x squared plus 1, which has a rate of change of negative 4x. So maybe we will... Rewrite that. Negative 2x over the square root of negative 2x squared plus 1. Told you girls were going to be freaking out at my house. Okay, the derivative of a cube root, we're going to have a 1 third times stuff to the power negative 2 thirds. We'll rewrite that. And that stuff is negative 2x to the fourth plus 5 which has a rate of change of negative 8x cubed. And nothing simplifies all that much. So negative what? 8x cubed 
over 3. What did you say? Hey, get out of here. What? Uh, that's going to be the cube root of stuff squared, and that stuff is negative 2x to the 4th plus 5. All right, I think this is nowhere near the last one. Okay. Um, the derivative of something to the negative second power, negative 2 times that's something to the negative third power. That something is negative x to the fourth minus 3, which has a rate of change of negative 4x to the third. So y prime is going to be negative 2 times negative 4, 8x cubed over negative x to the fourth minus 3 to the positive 3 power. It's dinner time around here. That's why it's so crazy. You can be in here. You can't yell about food. All right. Um, hopefully you recognize we're talking about the derivative of a product of two functions. First function times the derivative of the second function. And that's a little complicated here. So... That's 4 times this stuff cubed. Maybe I'll put a block in here. So it looks like we're doing one big piece. And that stuff is negative 4x squared minus 3. You may not touch this. Uh, which has a rate of change of negative 8x. No, I want you to leave. Plus the second function. I'm not leaving. Times the derivative of the first. And so here we probably do want to do a bit of factoring. Um, anything that's common everywhere, and you know this first chunk is just multiplication. Hmm. Uh, the loud children in here confused me. Right here I copied the first function. First function, derivative of the second, plus second function. Derivative of the first is 9x squared. Okay. So, so let's see. This is what mine says. Yeah. Dear Edward to Dad. Get out of here. You can be in here if you watch. No talking, dude. I'm confused. So... Because my children won't leave me alone, you don't get simplification. All right. Let's see. The derivative of a quotient of two functions is the denominator times the derivative of the numerator. And the derivative of something to the fifth power is 5 times that something to the fourth power. That something is x cubed plus 4, which has a rate of change of 3x squared. Minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, 12x cubed minus 0, all over the denominator, squared. And we're doing some bowling. And we're playing with poppets here, if you can't recognize that noise. So we're going to deal with that fourth power first. The derivative of something to the fourth power is four times that same something cubed. This something, well, how should we say that is? Something to the fifth power minus one, uh, which has a rate of change of five times that something to the fourth power plus zero. And that something is x plus five, which is actually easy to deal with. The derivative of x plus five is one. Hmm. Well, we really can't combine much. You know, we can delete the 1. I, I want to leave it there. But I guess the best we can do is 5 times 4 is 20. And maybe I'll bring the x plus 5 to the 4th power out front. And then we get this block of x plus 5 to the 5th minus 1. Robin tacos tonight, in case you're wondering. 
Whew. All right, last one. I think I'm going to leave the, the uh, number 13 to you. Hopefully you recognize the product rule. The derivative of a product of two functions is the first function times the derivative of the second function. The derivative of something to the one-fourth power is one-fourth of that something to the negative three-fourths power. That something is negative 4x to the fifth minus 3, which has a rate of change of negative 20x to the fourth. Plus the second function, fourth root, of negative 4x to the fifth minus 3 times the derivative of the first. Oh, man, which is the derivative of something to the fifth power. Five times that something to the fourth power. That something is 5x cubed minus 3, which has a rate of change of 15x squared. So there's not much that simplifies, but we should rewrite our radical. And so how should we do this first one? How about negative 20x to the fourth times the quantity of 5x cubed minus 3, which one of us forgot to write to the fifth power. Oh man, I uh, forgot to divide. I have the one-fourth to deal with here, so let's change this to a 5. And this is going to be the fourth root cubed of negative 4x to the fifth minus 3. And then over here, not a whole lot. 5 times 15, pretty sure that's 75. x squared times 5x cubed minus 3 to the fourth. And the fourth root of that negative 4x to the fifth minus 3. 